I'm in Marchwood in Hampshire on the first leg of my week of Can't Get Online tours. And um, we've had a really good session, I think, here this afternoon with about 30, 40 people here in the um, Bold Forester pub. Um, listening to people's tales about how they can't get online and what that means in their life. Um, Graham's agreed to have a quick chat on the camera. So, Graham, how, how have you felt about how things have gone this afternoon? I think it's been um, very useful for people to understand a bit about um, why they can't get online and how people have overcome that problem. Um, I think that's given people more more to think about and uh, it's definitely brought neighbours together that have never met each other before, <laughs> which is probably often the case. Um, and I think that it's perhaps given us food for thought to try and come up with a um, plan going forward about how we can better this situation ourselves rather than relying on corporate companies such as BT etc. So, um, yeah, we're looking at the satellite technology that was um, displayed here today, or used here today, and uh, we're looking at um, maybe taking that further because we feel that that could be um, a very quick solution to, to this ongoing problem. So, yeah, it's been very useful today. Um, we will also be um, speaking to our local councillors um, see if we can lobby them, put some pressure on them, um, because we're not very far from uh, a good connection. Um, it is literally the other side of the road, so to speak. So, really, um, we need to uh, put some pressure in that direction. Okay. And what's it like here in this part? I mean, it's this part of Marchwood, isn't it? Because there are parts of Marchwood mm. that have got some sort of connection, whereas over this side of the road, you get virtually nothing. Th this this pub that we're in has um, a connection. The property next door has a connection, and the property after that has a connection, which is where I live. Um, but our broadband speed is 133 kilobits a second. So you can generally draw the page quicker than it would actually load. So it really, you can just about um, send and receive emails as long as there's no um, large attachments to them. So, so we do struggle with it. Um, generally, most people would um, have to go to a, another building further into town if they want to send anything of any substance. Mm. Okay, and so yeah, well, we heard people not being able to watch BBC iPlayer, mm. stuff like that. Yeah. You know, and and the fact that when the kids come home from school. What little connectivity you've got just disappears because as soon as the kids get on there, it, it hammers it. Yeah? Exactly, mm. exactly. Yeah. Um, we're told that the exchange, the BT exchange that we're on, is uh, approximately seven kilometres away. So we are really at the end of that in terms of broadband performance. Um, but um, we are actually nearer to other exchanges, so it's just a case of you know, if the infrastructure can be put in place. But then there's only I don't know, maybe 60 houses um, down this road and um, is it commercially viable for one of these companies to spend tens of thousands of pounds connecting us um, for a very little payback. And do you think there's an appetite for people to get together and do something for themselves? I think so. Mm. I think so. I think, well, like I said to you before, we'll definitely look at the satellite because um, I think that would be quite good. Uh, I know prices are quite high on that at the moment. but. Um, they should come down with time and more, more, more sort of customer take up should bring that price down. Mm. Okay, that's great. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you.